This is There's No Such Thing as Monsters by Steve Smallman and Caroline Pedler. I've got my own bedroom, I'm so big now, sang Little Bear excitedly. Big Bear was excited too. He had his bedroom all to himself at last. Off to bed, dozy head, chuckled Big Bear. Little Bear snuggled down and tried to go to sleep, but he couldn't. Everything felt different. The dark seemed so much darker without Big Bear there. Then, as Little Bear peered into the shadows, he saw... A monster! A big scaly monster, all covered in spines, watching and waiting and ready to pounce. Big Bear! Big Bear! cried Little Bear. There's a spiky monster in my room and it's coming to get me! Big Bear rushed in and turned on the light. But there wasn't a monster, just a floppy old toy on the back of the chair. Big Bear put it on his head and did a silly spiky monster dance. Don't be a scaredy bear. Shadows can't hurt you, he said. Little Bear snuggled down and tried to go to sleep. But it was just too quiet without Big Bear there. He tried humming a little song to keep the quiet out. Then he thought, what if there's something under my bed? Something that's keeping very still. Shh. He wriggled nervously over to the edge, peeked underneath and saw a monster's tail. Big Bear, Big Bear, squealed Little Bear. There's a slimy monster under my bed and it's going to eat me. Big Bear rushed in and dived under the bed. But there wasn't a monster, just a stinky old sock. Big Bear put his hand in the sock and made stinky sock monster noises. <laughs> then he bundled Little Bear back into bed. Night, night, don't let the bed socks bite, chuckled Big Bear. Little Bear snuggled down and tried to go to sleep, but he felt lost in the middle of his big new bed. It was just too lonely without Big Bear there. Little Bear's lips started to wobble and he was just about to cry. <laughs> when he heard footsteps coming closer. Tip, tap, tip, tap. The door slowly opened. Ah, <laughs> oh, it was Big Bear. There's no need to be frightened, Little Bear, he said. But I don't like being all on my own, sniffed Little Bear. Don't worry, said Big Bear. I've brought old Hoppity to keep you company. He tucked his special tattered toy into bed with Little Bear. Now you won't feel so scared, he said. Silly Little Bear, chuckled Big Bear as he went back to bed, frightened of monsters. <sighs> Big Bear snuggled down in his bed and tried to go to sleep, but he couldn't. His bedroom seemed so empty without Little Bear there. Big Bear lay in the dark, humming a little song to keep the quiet out. Just then he heard a noise. A growly, snuffling noise. And it was coming from Little Bear's bedroom. <coughs> oh no, thought Big Bear. Maybe there really is a stinky sock monster under the bed and it wants Little Bear for its supper. Big Bear raced down the hallway as the noises got louder and louder. I'll save you, little bear, he cried, pushing open the door. <gasps> oh, but there wasn't a stinky sock monster. Just a small bear, fast asleep and snoring loudly in the growly, stuffily way that little bears do. <coughs> what a great story. And what a nice big bear he is looking after little bear. Sometimes our imaginations run away with us and our minds play tricks on us. But there really is no such thing as monsters. But if you're like me and love to read, please come and check out my channel for some more story time. I'll see you soon. Bye.